The addition property of inequality allows us to use the same concept as what we used for addition property of equality, which now just says that if A is less than B, and that inequality sign could be negotiated on. Uh, but if we took that and we took some given value, which we'll call C, and we added to both sides, what this property says is that our statement, our inequality statement, will remain true. So A plus C is exactly the same as B plus C in terms of the statement, meaning it's still less than it. So let's look at what that looks like in terms of a math problem. So if I gave you a problem where we were looking at something like this, another solve situation, where maybe this time we had something like, um, oh, I don't know, let's do x minus 7 is less than 15. So I want to know all the values of x that when I subtract 7, my values are still going to be less than 15. So what this property says is that I can add 7 to both sides. And that inequality is now like our barrier that we had before. So this is still sort of like our little in-between piece right here. Okay, And so now when we do that, we get negative 7 plus 7, which is 0. That drops down our x, and it's still less than. So 15 plus 7, which is 22. So I now know that any number less than 22 can be plugged in there, and that inequality will remain true. OK, let's try another one. Let's look at one where maybe the negative is in front. Like, um, what if I gave you a solve? And the problem said now negative 5 plus x, but let's do a greater than then. All right, so this is greater than 12. Still an inequality. Still using that same property, so I can go ahead and add 5, and I can add 5. The goal being to try and always isolate this variable right here. We're trying to get the x by itself. So when I do that, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. The x drops down. The greater than comes with it and 12 plus 5, which is 17. So I now know that any number greater than 17 will make this inequality true. All right, so one more, just so you can sort of see the last details here. Let's try one where we say, what if I gave you a less than or equal to? Still an inequality, still follows the same property. How do I get the x by itself? I'm going to add the 3 to both sides. And that will allow me then to get a 0 here. The x drops in place. Less than or equal to drops in place. And the 10 plus the 3 gives me 13. So I now know that any number less than or equal to 13 will make this statement true. And again, that's just based off the addition property of inequality that says you can add the same number to both sides and it will not change the inequality symbol.